Hey everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. We have here Final Counter Strike um, Endgame for Final Battle. So happy to have additional content for the game. Just a reminder, guys, you won't have this unless you unlock um, Chapter 26 1 of the main story. And also be reminded that the currency that you earn here will be used in the private figurine pavilion. Okay, so let's uh, move on to each of um, these bosses here. So each of the boss, um, you need to clear them using the three brands. So uh, the three brands have their individual stages here. As you can see, um, we'll start here with uh, Let's Red. So what I did was I gave you guys a sample on um, for each floor. Let's say, for example, for each floor, this one is clearable up to the total victory. This one so far at the second floor, uh, I'm in, in the hell stage. And for your third floor, I'm in hard. And fourth floor, I'm in common. So... As you see, uh, there's a pattern where in each stage as you go down uh, in, in terms of floor or you go up in terms of floor, um, it gets harder and harder. Okay, so what you do is you clear um, the the most the, the, the furthest stage that you can clear with the lineup that you have. So try to clear it because the rewards here again, these ones, the, the counterweight silver coin will be used in the private figure collection, which is this one. And um, so far, we don't have um, no stocks yet for, um, for uh, the pavilion collection. My guess is this will be we refreshed by tomorrow. These are, I think, additional stats, bo stat bonuses, probably skills. I'm not sure yet, but we'll have to find out once it drops. So, as you can see, you can progress um, using a specific team. Let's say, for example, I'm using Let's Red. So, I'm using this um, team for Let's Red. I'm going to show you guys what my team is. So, I'm also using this team for the other um what they call this the other stages that i have here so including three third floor and fourth floor it's it's actually the same so as soon as you as you do use this team in the first floor they will be your default but you can obviously um change up the team while you're in battle while you're progressing depending on the, the tactic depending on the, the difficulty so as you can see here as well, same, same tier, TYR, but different team. We have here Tenma. Then for Galatea, I have this team that I'm bringing for Galatea. So again, this um, the rewards here are good. You have, as you can see there, um, you have here stamps. You have. Um, clover stickers you have um, stamps again there is actually a shard for your for your yellow um what they call this yellow or um yellow rarity of figure so i actually didn't show it to you guys because i already collected it so that is it um as you can see i'm just gonna show you guys um my proposed team composition starting with tier and um this is going to be Let's Red. So, tier Let's Red. This is my proposed team with um, with uh, Sakura, Megan. You have here Hatsune Miko. You have here, um, what do you call this? Xanta Kane. And you have here Milim. Okay. So, what else do we have here, guys? Um... You can actually interchange some of these. Um, uh, one of my, if if you need more uh, minions, you can actually use Harriet. You can use uh, Aoi for shield. You can even use Rimuru if you want. But again, these are just my proposed lineups for you guys. So just gonna go through them one by one per boss and per team. So you saw there a while ago that was for Let's Red. 
Then for tier, my proposed lineup will be this one. Uh, you can bring in, in the future Mako or Irens for this one. Uh, also Vivian, not really in tier, I think. But for Mako and Irens, I think they would be useful in higher or, for example, higher floors for this boss. Okay, and for Galatea, the team that I used with tier is going to be to be Lubu, uh, Zhao Yun. You have here, um, I forgot the name of this girl, Ayani Okada, Zhao, Zhao Yun or Zhao Yu. I, both of them have difficult n names, um, almost the same. Um, and Zuki Liang at the back. Uh, you can actually bring Arixia here as a proposed team. Um, and that's it. Uh, Usuki will be useful in other bosses. So watch out for that one. So that is it for tier. The next one that I have, I was able to set lineups already uh, for each uh, brand. So let's take a look at uh, for code V, let's red. The lineup that I have here is this. So Rimuru, Megan, uh, Milim, Hatsune Miko, and Ayakino. Um, it's only five that you can deploy here. So definitely um, take advantage of AoE damage. Um, Eric can be a good addition to here if you want to go with sum a summoning team and also with uh, Suzumi as well. Sakura is not a bad choice, but I left her out because this is still early and you still I think you don't need healing at this point. So you can use her later. Next is going to be for um, Code V Tenma. Code V Tenma. My team here is obviously Crusos, Zephyr, Vazerwin, Zarola, and Rin. Other options that you can bring here would be Mako, definitely, and Irens, and also Vivian, especially if you built Vivian, um, uh, probably five star Peach and up. Then she is perfect here for a for um, big mobs AOE. So again, those are my proposed lineup for this one. The other one for Code V. I uh, just want to show you what I used and I'm going to use. So you have Zhao Yu, Zhao Yun, you have Zuki Liang, you have Lubu, and Galatea. They're very limited. So if you want to bolster healing, you could bring in Erixia. You could also bring in Usuke for freeze. And that's it. So very limited for, for Galatea in terms of choices. So that is so far for Code V and for Azazel. Let's go to Let's Red to a Let's Red lineup. Let's Red. Uh, this is my lineup for Let's Red. Alternatives for this one would definitely be Sakura, Aoi. Uh, if you're gonna go again with a summon team, you have um, you have Suzumi here as well. Let's go to Azazel Tenma. For Azazel Tenma, you have here Rin, you have Vivian already here. Uh, for this one, by the way, for Azazel, you can deploy six, not five for the other stages. So uh, you can also use, actually, if your Sani is well built here, she can be good here as well. Mako, if you need an additional healer as well. So moving on to the last lineup for that I have. So Azazel. Galatea. For Azazel Galatea, we have here um, basically the same again. No, no significant change. Only that Usuki is here, and you can bring in Erixia as well. So, again, those are my proposed lineups for Final Counter Strike tier Code V and Azazel for each of the brands that we have. So again, just a reminder, all of the currencies, um, particularly this one, the counterweight, will be used in a private private figurine pavilion, which will unlock a lot of um, you know information and uh, abilities or stats probably 
of your favorite figurine. So that is it. This this will be a fun game of uh, of uh, unlocking and uh, getting total victory. So you have to do total victory, not just this one. You have to get to total victory. Then you can sweep this with um, with fish boats again. So that is it. So hopefully I could um, bring out my if. Uh, I have final lineups already for total victory for the higher stages. I'll do also a, a run of that one and post it for you guys so that you can see what the final lineup for probably third floor and fourth floor for tier and code V and Adazel for all of the factions. Okay, so that is it, guys. So that is basically the guide for um, for final counter strike it's still the same it's just you're farming this for another event and uh, um again once you set the lineups from the start even for the first floor um they can carry it over unless you want to change that lineup that you want to bring for the second floor third floor and fourth floors okay guys thank you very much for staying this far so hopefully this helped you start your final counter strike um a note again it will be open once you clear chapter 26 dash one of the main story okay guys so if you're here please do consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot thank you guys stay safe take care this is the warden and i'm out of here